Hello, I'm Dave Apsley. I'm a forester and a natural resources specialist with Ohio State University Extension. Today I'm in the city of Jackson at Eddie Jones Park and we're on the banks of Salt Lake Creek. This is the perfect habitat for this species, pin oak. Pin oak is a species that likes wet soil conditions. It takes flooding very well and you're typically going to find it in poorly drained flats near streams. Um, here we've got some oxbows along the stream that don't drain very well, so we have a lot of pin oak down here. In southwestern Ohio, you're going to see it in the poorly drained flats throughout those southern and southwestern counties. And then throughout the state, you're going to find it in those low-lying, swampy, wet areas. Pin oak is a member of the red oak group. It's going to have bristle tips. It's got leaves that are three to five inches in length. The ones that are left on the tree right now are a bit smaller. I think the bigger ones caught the wind a little bit better and uh, are gone by now. But most of these leaves are probably closer to that five inch length during the growing season. But they'll have very narrow lobes and deep cut sinuses. Pretty similar to the scarlet oak that we introduced you to earlier. And a difference really is though that the lobes and the, the sinuses are more divergent. So you're going to see that they make more of a v-shape and if you trace out to the ends of the lobes they don't want to connect where scarlet oak wants to make a c-shape and will connect back in. Um, pin oak does hold on to leaves throughout the winter as you can see I'm in late February and we still got leaves hanging on. Um, another great identification characteristic is like all other oaks it has buds and clusters or bunches at the tips of the twigs. You're going to see a little reddish brown bud um, and it's very similar to northern red oak buds but probably a bit smaller. Uh, pin oak is also known for its branching habit. You'll see that the lower branches kind of uh, point downward. The branches in the middle part of the crown are more horizontal and those up in the top of the tree point up higher into the air. So think of the cheerleader with the branches pointing in different directions depending on where you are on the crown. Um, pin oak does hold on to these low branches and even in a forested setting where it's really crowded when the branches die you're still going to have dead branch stubs, lots of knots. It's not very clean wood so it doesn't make very good lumber. Uh, typically it doesn't sell very well at all. It is a red oak and it could technically be sold as a red oak but the quality of the wood is usually pretty low because it's got so many knots. In fact, that's probably one of the reasons it's called pin oak because it has these small pin knots throughout the wood. Pin oak also is great for wildlife. Like all other oaks, it produces acorns. And it's really a pretty prolific acorn producer. What's different about it than say its cousin, the northern red oak, is that the acorns are very small. At, at best, they're going to be about a half inch or so in size. They may be even a little bit smaller. They'll have a cap that barely covers the acorn, um, but they're a very tiny little acorn. Um, they're highly utilized by all the species that we typically think of that like acorns, but, but thinking about where this grows in wetland habitats where there's often standing water, it's a great food source for ducks, especially wood ducks. Um, pin oak is always or also used a lot in the landscape, probably uh, more so than we'd like to see. It's very common. It's fairly shallow rooted, so it can cause some problems, but it's also very fast growing. So it gets very large very quick and people underestimate how big it might be and often don't plant it in spaces that give it enough space to grow. Again, this is pin oak. It's, it's uh, found throughout Ohio really, but it's going to be not as common as our other oaks because we don't have a lot of that wetland or poorly drained habitat in the state. Again, thanks and have a great day.